okay uh, welcome viewers so in this uh, video lecture we want to start a new topic uh, called recurrence relation okay so basically what is a recurrence relation uh, when you write your terms of the sequence like this that uh, the nth term it is obtained as a so as a linear combination of its preceding term then it is called a recurrence relation for example a n is equal to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 to so on c k a n minus a okay so you see that that this nth term has been expressed as a linear combination of its preceding term okay uh, here c i s r constants okay so here is our constant and uh, this ck uh, it is not equal to zero okay and ck is not equal to zero so when you write your nth term as a linear combination of its preceding term then it is called a recurrence relation okay so i just give here some examples of recurrence relation uh, for example uh, an minus an minus 1 plus 2 an minus 1 sorry an minus 2 equal to 0 uh, this is also this is also a recurrence relation okay uh, we may take another example an plus 2 plus 3 an plus 1 uh, plus 2 an equal to 0 this is also a recurrence relation okay so we have understood it that uh, what is a recurrence relation now we want to next understand types of recurrence relation types of recurrence relations so first one is homogeneous homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients so first of all we want to learn about it that what is a what is a so first of all we want to learn about that what is a homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients okay so for example uh, when you write your recurrence relation like this an plus 3 times an minus 1 plus 2 times an minus 2 equal to 0 okay uh, when you have 0 on this side okay and on this side you have the terms of the sequence okay uh, the single terms of the sequence like an an minus 1 an minus 2 
then this is called homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficient because in these coefficients okay, they are constant okay, they are constant for example an plus 5 an minus 1 plus 3 an minus 2 plus 4 an minus 3 okay. so uh, again we have 0 on this side that is why it is called homogeneous okay and here all in all the terms okay we have single term of the sequence like an an minus 1 an minus 2 an minus Okay, and here again the coefficients they are constant so that is why it is called homogeneous recurrence relation with a constant coefficient okay now next we want to learn about non homogeneous non homogeneous non homogeneous recurrence relation okay so you see that what is a non homogeneous recurrence relation if you have your recurrence relation like this an plus 3an an minus 1 plus 2 time uh, an minus 2 uh, it is equal to suppose a uh, 5 raised to the power n okay so whenever you have any term except the term of the sequence on the right hand side then this is called a known homogeneous recurrence relation okay now for example an plus 5 an minus 1 equal to 5 time n to 2 plus n so you see that that again you have some function on n on this side so this is a non homogeneous recurrence relation okay uh, next we talk about that what is non linear recurrence relation okay see for example you have suppose an plus an minus 1 into an minus 2 equal to 0 so you see that here you have the product terms of the sequence okay so that is why it is non recurrence relation okay now for example if you have a n square plus a n minus 1 equal to 0 so you see that that this is actually the product of two terms of the two same terms of the sequence okay so this is also non-linear recurrence relation okay now next we want to talk about that uh, uh, what is a what is a uh, what is a linear homogeneous just recurrence relation recurrence relation with variable coefficients okay see for example if you have a n plus n time a n minus 1 equal to 0 so you see here here the subscript is n okay and here uh, whatever is the coefficient of a n minus 1 uh, that is also in n so this is called homogeneous why it is homogeneous because right hand side is zero okay and why it is linear because here we do not have the